Hey guys, it's Spice Wave here, and in this video I'll be showing you all how to add items such as clothing items, furniture, apartments, and locomotions to your inventory on my PlayStation Home server, so let's get started. Starting on PC, open your browser and go to homeheadquarters.net, which of course can be found linked in the video description, and then go to Catalog. And as you can see, there's sections for original content and custom content. Now this should be pretty obvious, but original content is for content added by Sony and other devs over 10 years ago, and custom content is for stuff added by the community. And just for the record, this also will narrow the search. So for example, if I search for MechJet Flourish, as you can see, it finds nothing in custom content. But if I click on original content, you'll find it right there. And if I don't have either of these selected, it will search in both original content and custom content. Now before you get started, if you go to open basket and you have no items in here, there will be a button to import default items which is to add all the items that were given to you when you first installed the PKG for PS Home, which you can see here. And as you can see, this is the list of all the items. And to add more items, all you have to do is, if you're on a search, close out of the search. And now you just browse the website and find what you want. So for example, if you want to add some original content furniture, you simply click on it like so. And if you want to narrow it down further, you can click on this, but we won't need to do that. Let's say you want to add the icebreaker cabinet, you simply click on it. And as you can see, it went up from 25 items to 26. And let's say you want to add some more male outfits. You click on it like so, just like that. And you can add as many items as you want, but I highly recommend that you don't go above 1,500 items in total, because after that, you may start to have technical difficulties in-game. But once you have all the items that you want here, simply click on Open Basket, and then Download Post Install SQL. As you can see, it will download a file, and now we can close out of the browser. And now I'm going to go over how to add this to your build of PlayStation Home. Starting with how to add it for RPCS3 players, open File Explorer. And first, I recommend you go to View. And if you don't already have File Name Extensions box tick, just so it'll make it easier. But once you've done that, go to Downloads, and then copy the post SQL file you just downloaded. And now you need to find where your RPCS3 build is located. So for me, it will be in C Drive, RPCS3, Dev HD0, Game, MPA equal Drupal 05, USI DIR, and then there'll be a folder called Object Catalog. Now I'll go into here, and now we simply just paste it into here. And yes, you want to replace it. And it must be named this exactly. If it is post install SQL with a number in a bracket, that will not work. Make sure it is named exactly post install SQL with every letter in caps. And once that's done, simply start up PlayStation Home or restart it if you're currently playing it. And those items you added will now be in your inventory. But at first, they will almost always be in storage. So be sure to check in there for the items first. Now let's go over how to add this new post install file to PS Home for PS3 users. So I'm going to show you two methods for this, but you only have to do one of these methods. The first method is via file transfer protocol, which requires both your PC and PS3 to be on a wired internet connection. So let's go over that method now. So on PC, open your browser and go to this link, which of course can be found in the video description. And then you want to download this PKG right here, Webman Mod 1.4748. And once that's finished downloading, you can close out of the browser. And next, you'll need to plug in a USB flash drive that's formatted to FAT32 into your PC. And once you've done that, open File Explorer. And just like on PC, I recommend you go to View, Enable File Name Extensions. But anyways, go to Downloads, find the PKG you just downloaded, and then just copy it. And now you just want to paste it onto the root of your USB drive that's of course formatted to FAT32. Just like that. And once it's on there, you can safely eject your USB flash drive and now you can unplug it from your PC and plug it into your PS3. So now let's move over to PS3. And once you're on PS3, if you're on HEN, enable HEN and then go to Package Manager, Install Package Files, Standard, and then install the PKG that you just added. And once it's done, an icon for Webman Installer will appear on PS3. 
As you can see, it says install completed. And just like I said, there is now an icon for Webman installer. Now what you want to do is launch this. And when your screen goes black, just hold down L1 and keep holding L1 until the text comes up saying installing Webman full. And now that it has appeared, you can let go of L1. And when you're back on the PS3 XMB, simply restart your PS3. And when it's back on, enable HEN again if you're on HEN, and then go to Network Settings, Settings and Connection Status List, and take a note of your IP address because you'll need to know this number. Once you've made a note of this, keep your PS3 on, and let's go back on to PC again. Now on PC, open File Explorer and find the post install file that you made earlier and downloaded, which is right here for me in Downloads, and then copy it. And then go up here to this address bar and then click on it and then hit backspace to clear it. And then type in FTP colon forward slash forward slash. And now you need to enter your PS3's IP. So for me, it's 192.168.0.29. And then a forward slash and then enter. And now we need to go to dev hd 0 game. MPA quadruple 05, USR DIR, object catalog, and now all we have to do is paste it in here and click yes and make sure it is named exactly post install SQL. If it is post install 1.sql, it will not work. But once that's done, simply all you have to do is boot up the game and the items will be in your inventory. Just please note that at first, most of the items are going to be in your storage. So be sure to look for them in there first. But if you're unable to have a wired connection for your PC and your PS3, then fortunately, there is still another way. On PC, open your browser and go to this link, which of course can be found in the video description to download this file called PS Home PKG Maker. And if this comes up, don't worry about it, just download it. And once it's finished downloading, we can close out of the browser and now go into File Explorer and then go to Downloads. And now we just open this zip file we just downloaded. And now we need to put this folder somewhere we can access it. So I recommend either your desktop or the root of your C drive. But I like to put things on the root of my C drive, so I'm gonna click on this and then reopen it and drag and drop this here to put it there. And now we are going to go back to downloads again. And now we're going to copy this post installer SQL file. And now we're gonna to go to where we put our PS Home PKG maker. And then go to MPA quadruple zero five, USR DIR, object catalog. And now we're going to paste it in here. And again, if you haven't, go to view and then enable file extension just so you can see the full thing. And it must be named exactly this. It must be post install.sql. If it is post install 1.sql, it will not work. So make sure it's named exactly that in capitals. And then go back to PS Home PKG Maker. And then it's pretty self explanatory. Just drag this folder over the bat file. And if something comes up, click yes on it. And once it's done, just press any key to close this. And as you can see, it's made a PS Home Add Items PKG. Now all you have to do now is insert a USB drive that's formatted to FAT32 so the PS3 can read it. And now just copy this. And now simply paste it onto your FAT32 USB stick. And then once that's done, you can safely eject to your USB drive. And now you can physically remove it from your PC and plug it into your PS3. So now let's move back over to the PS3. And just like any other PKG installation, enable HEN if you're on HEN, and then go to Package Manager, Install Package Files, Standard, and then select that PKG you just made, for us it's this one, and let it install. And once that's done, it will have added all of those items to your inventory on PS Home. Just be sure to check in Storage first, because that's where most of your new items will first go to. Anyways, guys, that brings us to the end of the video, and I hope you all enjoyed it. And with that said, take care and peace.